I mean, I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot, I'ma take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, Ooh. what's going on? People are back with another one. Let's get it. You know, I had to do a reaction to J. Cole bowing out the battle with Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. J. Cole, the guy who been doing all that boasting on his tracks. And we the big three like we started the league, but now I feel like Muhammad Ali. Yeah, that guy. If I smoke a rapper, it's going to be legit. It won't be for clout. It won't be for fame. It won't be some nigga just mentioning my name. Yeah, that guy. You know, that's been talking like he ready for the smoke. You know. J. Cole. And I like J. Cole because I thought he was really ready for the smoke because he been talking on his tracks, you know, talking a little more tougher. You know, I like guys that compete. That's why, you know, pushing one of my favorites, you know, K-Dot, one of my favorites guys that's going to compete, J, Nas, all them. You got to go at it. This hip hop. This is hip hop. You got to prove you the best. You can't just be standing on the tracks. You can't. That's just like me playing basketball. I'm in the gym shooting around. By myself, I'm hitting every shot. So I'm saying, oh, I'm the best. Can't none of y'all check me. But then as soon as somebody come on the court, I'll be like, no, no, let me shoot. Let me shoot. I can't still say I'm the best if I don't want no defense. If I can't prove it, anybody can shoot around by themselves and hit every shot and say they're the best. Anybody can hop on these tracks and just say I'm the best and this or that. No, you got to prove it eventually. You have to. Yeah, J. Cole was at his Dreamville. You know, festival, and he, he, you know, bowed out. He said he don't want no smoke. He said he don't want no smoke. And J. Cole, I like J. Cole, but he was really starting to grow on me because I'm like, oh, shit, this motherfucker wants some smoke. Like, J. Cole, he he trying to come for the crown. Like, and he been, he been picking that K.2 for some years now, just mentioning his name, you know, saying little subtle shots here and there. If you follow hip-hop, you, you know, you know. But, yeah, let's hear, you know, what else. J. Cole had to say at his Dreamville Fest, you know, as he threw in the towel with K-Dot. Yeah, he threw in the towel. I want y'all to hear what he had to say, man. Disappointing day for hip-hop. It is because two MCs, you know, that we look at at the top of the game right now, you know, J. Cole and Kendrick. And eventually we want to know who's better, period. We want to know who's better, especially when you've been talking like that. And K-Dot K came at you say, I really like that. <laughs> and your best work is a light pack. Come on, man. Like, K-Dot wanted to smoke. But yeah, let's hear what else J. Cole had to say. Nigga, throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel, spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to, like, jab my nigga back. And I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day... When I listen to that's it, soft when shit. it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the, you know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that. You know, I got to be careful with the copyright, but I'm not going to show the full clip. I'm going to just show the main parts, you know, that he spoke about K-Dot, you know, during the Dreamville Festival. He said, people want to see blood, this or that. No, we don't. We want to see, you know, people, rappers compete, rappers rap. You say you're the best. Okay, sure. You've been boasting. You've been saying this. That's all we want to see. Nobody want to see blood. Nobody take this rap shit serious anyway. The last real, real beef, like on some street shit, was probably like 50 Cent, you know, in the game and Ja Rule, shit like that. That's the last real, like, shit where it really, you know, took to the streets on a, on a high level rap. You know, rappers always beefing on some, you know, sh you know, over some tracks and shit, whatever. Rappers always beef. I'm talking about as a top tier rappers, like, you know, Chicago rapper, they always stand some beef, so I can't. Rappers are always getting some beef, but I'm talking about the top tier rappers, the mainstream rappers. Shit don't lead to the streets. 50 Cent, the game, Ja Rule, that was his, come on, that was the last beef that really was, got bloody. Come on now, let's be real, like, I want to see you compete. You keep saying you're the best. Okay, show us. 
Show us Jermaine. <laughs> Hear what else he had to say. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path because I ain't going to lie to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. So all of that to say, man, I want to I wanna now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. For y and I want to keep in mind, this was after he dropped, you know, Seven Minute Drill. He basically said he wasn't feeling it, you know, as you can, you hear him, you know, say. But want to see you compete. It had nothing to do with motherfuckers want to see blood. No. You keep saying you're the best, okay, prove it. Cause K-Dot, he jumped out the window. He said, okay. Now he gonna have to prove that he's a problem. That's what K-Dot say on, on like that. You gonna have to prove that he's a problem. You've been talking, you've been saying all this shit, all right. We gonna have to prove it. We gonna have to prove it, eventually. You gonna have to stand on that shit. You gonna have to stand on that shit. Real talk. And J. Cole been rapping his ass off the last, you know, five years. Like, really making us feel like, okay, he ready to really take that crown. Like, J. Cole been gone. Especially on the features, J. Cole been gone. Like, going, going crazy on the features. Even in his own shit. You know, J. Cole been going crazy, but this was his time. Like, this was the time. Like, J. Cole is at his... The height of his career right now. Like, where people feel like he's, he was untouchable up until this moment. Real talk. Like, this was the time. This was the showdown. Like, okay, this is the showdown now. Like, J. Cole versus Kendrick. Like, even Drake. Drake a step in the ring. That's why, that's why I rock with Drake, too. You know, because Drake, he will throw some jabs at you with no remorse. He going to throw some shots. He going to compete a little bit. You know, he got some battle scars. You know, Meek Mill, Common, Pusha. You know, Drake got some battle scars. Much as we want to call him soft, he will throw some shots your way. He will. But very disappointed because J. Cole, like I say, he been rapping his ass off and he made it seem like he was ready for this moment. Like, I'm, I'm ready for this. I want the smoke. You know, he been talking like that and then saying it don't sit right with you. So what was all this for? You just talking. You just talking. Well, push and say the empty threats only sound good on your records. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. We want to see some motherfuckers compete. And hip hop is at a low state right now. Album sales ain't doing good unless you like a top artist. You got to be like Drake, Travis Scott, Future, Kendrick or Cole. Like, if you're not one of these top artists, motherfuckers ain't selling like that. You know, on the male artists, hip hop side, like rap, all that. Like, be real. But shit, man. It's part of hip hop. Like, that's how you earn your stripes. Like, all the greats. They done had some spats, you know? They done had some spats. If you look at Biggie, him and Pac had to go at a J and Nas. Like, all the all the greats had a few spats where you'd be like, okay, he had to earn his strike, have some battle scars. That's what hip-hop was built on. Let's be real. You got to prove it. We get in a circle. All right, who got the best verse? Who can, who can spit the hardest 16, this or that? Like, it's always been competitive. Like, okay, oh, that's what you're saying? Okay, I'm about to come like this. Like, always been competitive. And anybody say, uh, J. Cole... You know, don't have to respond or he I'm happy for J. Cole. Get your soft ass out of here. Get your soft ass out of here. You don't know shit about hip hop. You saying I'm I'm proud for J. Cole. This is what the black get your this is what the black community need. Get your soft ass out of here. That's weak. We was this was just only music. And we wanted this battle because we knew it would just strictly be music. So anybody saying that shit, they not no real hip hop fans because they don't know the true foundation of the shit. So, real talk, but see where it go from here. And I hope K Dot finish him. What they say on Mortal Kombat, finish him. I hope K Dot finish him, man. That soft ass shit out of here. Soft ass shit out of here. But let me know what y'all think. Just sit down in the comments, keep the fire coming, keep it rolling. So, my mind, you know, I love the hip hop and shit. So, comment, like, subscribe, so we can help share the video. If you're entertaining, that's cash app. Oh, I'm not gonna have one out. Let's get it.